Hey guys, welcome to my channel NZ Game Guru. Today we're going to be doing a premiere draft of Corsair 2021, so stick with us and see how we go. Okay, some very good stuff in pack one. Stormwing Entity is great. Uh, Grasp of Darkness is a very good removal. Malithic Scythe and Sea Strike are good cards as well, but can't pass up a Storm Entity in pack one, so we're definitely grabbing that. Um, ops will be nicer if it comes around. Op works really well with the Storming Entity. Pack 2, interesting one. Jeskai Out is nice. Um, the Kraken's very good. Cachosphere and Read the Tide's also good. Uh, and Hunter's Edge as well. So plenty of good stuff in here. Uh, I think I grabbed the Kraken now. Um, it's just such a strong card and so hard to deal with. Uh, so let's grab a Kraken. Silver Smoke Ghoul's interesting. Uh, Experimental Overload, we tried one of those decks earlier. Uh, went pretty well. Turn to Slag's good. Capture Sphere's good. Um, just because of the Stormwing Entity, I think we grabbed the Experimental Overload here. Uh, lame. Yeah. Uh, you should take an Ugin if it comes up. That worked well last time. <laughs> Thanks, Randon. Yeah. Appreciate the support, my friend. Uh, I learned a valuable lesson. Don't pick Ugin Unlimited. I just kind of thought, like, even if it's even if it's one card that you get every now and then, it's probably not going to be a huge problem. Uh, but I managed to draw it every game. It never once got close to the mana. Uh, okay, interesting pack here. Finishing Blow staying this late is very good. Uh, Bezri Solidarity in the right deck is good. Kite Sail's good. Uh, I think we'll get plenty of chances to crash through, so I don't think we'll pick that up just yet. So I think we'll grab the Finishing Blow. Malithic Scythe uh, in this pack is very good. Um, Thrill and Shore Strike are, are decent um, cards in the red blue. Spy Megalodon is very good, and Teferi's Protege in the right deck can be very good as well. Um, I think we'll pick up. Hmm. Let's go with Spy Megalodon. Very difficult for our opponents to deal with that card. Hexproof in this is uh, very strong because there's no board wipes. Is there? I don't think there's board wipes in M21. People hoarding packs, so maybe I need to slow down my picking. Temple of Epiphany, uh, Optus good, Tidescum is good. I actually quite like getting Temple Temple of Epiphany here. We might be in red blue, so uh, Scrylands and Limited, just to give you that little bit of card advantage, are actually quite good. Definitely not first pickable, but as your fifth or sixth pick, that's fine. We've already got <laughs> a whole top end for the for the blue red deck. Uh, Sanctum of Calm Waters, Crash Through, Charges Piling. Uh, other than Shock, are there ways of dealing damage with Piling? I think we grab a. Let's grab a Piling. See how we get on with that. Wow. Sure. Double vision in an experimental overload deck. Uh, we're definitely picking up any good instance of sorceries. We would love to get the red uh, uncommon instant that deals damage. Uh, 
Um, the stuff that taps down creatures. Yeah, read the tides is very good for this. Uh, a little bit expensive, but imagine playing that down for double vision, um, copying the spell, and returning four creatures to your opponent's hand on turn six. Uh, <laughs> I need to add you as a friend on MTG so we can battle and you can play against my own deck. I came up against the same deck this hour, it's a bit weird trying to do the same thing. Funny, that is quite funny. Uh, we'll grab a tampering. Uh, crash through here. Just picking up some instants and sorceries. Uh, short strike's great. Yeah, getting to double short strike. Very good. Nine lives, definitely not what we're looking for. Don't really like much of the top end of this. Um, Hobble Fiend for the creature or Rookie Mistake is probably our uh, only two options here. I think we grabbed a... Uh, man, this pack is pretty awful. I guess we grab a Hubble Fiend. Uh, Sabira. Not really made for my deck, unfortunately. Uh, Opt and Frostbirth are very good. Hmm. Do we just get it as a 3 mana 2 3 with haste? Put some pressure, lets me do bits of damage. Maybe we do. Let's grab Sabira. Gadrak is interesting. Um, hmm. Uh, can't attack unless you control 4 more in a phase when you use it. Create token for each non-creature token that died this turn. But it can block. Yeah, I like get drag. Let's try that. Okay. Uh... Probably grabbing the thrill here. Nothing else really looks super great. Opt shock. Shock is definitely what we want. Need as many shocks as possible. Um, okay, crash through. Oh, frost breath we don't have yet. Grab a frost breath. Uh, another experimental overload would be nice. Uh, we're probably going to play m more than a 40 card deck. I don't th think we want to come up against a Teferi's Tutelage deck and just get milled out. Another experimental overload or two would be very good. Teferi's Ageless Insight, I just don't think we can pick that up. Um, frantic Inventories, pretty good. The Pyrolings are actually reasonably good, even if I'm not using them for their abilities. It's a decent blocker that has the potential to scare our opponent. Um, another sure strike, I think, is what we grab here. Jeskai Elder can be very good for us, though. Maybe we grab a Jeskai Elder. We're going to be playing a lot of spells, so things with prowess are going to be pretty strong in our deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll grab a Sanctum. We're probably not playing it, but. Another Frost Breath here. Read the Tides. Uh, we've already got two Pyrolings, so we're not getting another one of those. We'll grab a Bone Pit Brew, but we're not playing it, I don't think. Uh, rise again. Crash through and staunch shield, man. Pack three. Animal sanctuary is not what we're looking for. In fact, 
none of this is very good for us. Uh, we'll grab the turn to slag. It's actually a decent card for us. So I'll pick up a turn to slag. Pursued Whale. Well, there isn't actually anything else in this pack, so whether we play it or not, um, I'm not too sure, but we're not playing anything else in this, so I think we grab the Pursued Whale. Can win, its, win games on its own, that card. Uh, Mistral Singer and Videlkin Arcanist. I'm going to grab a... Uh, what's my three drops like? Sabira and Gadrak. And what's my two drops? Pyrling, Elder, Hobble Fiend. Um, I'm going to grab an Arcanist. We're going to have a lot of instances and sorceries in this deck, so I think it seems good. Ghost Light's good, um, just for slowing down our opponent. Uh, Protege or Shore Strike? I think we'll grab a Shore Strike here. Need some shocks. Shocks would be very helpful. Or uh, Scorching Dragon Fires. Anything that, that deals damage. No, no, neither of those are helping. I guess we go the Tome Anima because we're likely to be drawing cards. Uh, how many short strikes have we got too? Uh, we've got another short strike. Another read the tides. Another thriller possibility. Didn't pick up a second experimental overload, which is a bit rough. Storming Entity is going to be great for getting down very early. Um, don't know if we'll play three read the tides. Bone Pit Boots definitely. Bone Pit Brute is definitely out. Probably not playing Destructive Tampering. Uh, we're not going to play that either. Um, probably not playing two Frost Breaths. The rest of this could make the deck, to be honest. We're going to end up as like a 50-something card deck, but... We're going to chew through a lot of our cards, and I am quite worried about Teferi's protege in this. Hundred gems. Okay. So what are we? Forty seven. We need to add some lands though. So uh get one two more islands and one, two six so is twenty one. Here a while and let's try like that. Okay. Quite a big deck for, for limited play, but we're just gonna be cycling through all of our stuff to make big experimental overloads and get in very cheap uh three three flyers, what are they called? Can't remember what it's called. Okay, game one, 
we're up against Yugi, so I don't think he's playing the right game. Now, normally I would throw this away straight away, but because we're going first and we can get down an Elder, we'll be able to discard some of our cards to draw, so I'm confident we will get to a red source. Red land would be excellent. Yikes. <laughs> Let's go, seven wins. Let's go, seven wins. Uh, discard a car. Let's discard crash through. Come on. Hey, one, two, three draws already. Red source, there we go. Okay. Seems to be going alright. I'm gonna get down a very nice experimental overload. Doubled? Uh, I just I trust the new music. I have to sing to myself. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that, random. Uh, so sure strike onto the elder. No death touch for you. Uh, this turn I get to get down double vision. He doesn't have a way of dealing with it. I get to read the tides for six cards. Might see a cast spell. Do see a cast spell. I don't think that's a huge problem. We get to attack now. Sure. It's a very defensive Titanic Earth. Shame you can't return the uh, double vision to our hand. the tide, draw three cards, no attacks, I mean our opponent's out of stuff and we're not even close to being done. Shock the ghost light. Play back in the pyroling. Play a land. Pass 
pass the turn. Which card do I get back with experimental overload is the question. I mean we might see a con seed from this opponent. Off for a bit. Thanks random, I appreciate the uh, time spent here. Experimental level is so good. If only if we could get itself back. Six, seven, seven overloads probably going to be good enough. Yeah. I mean, we can just keep going, right? But. At what point does it... Oh. Maybe you just play it down a spine Megalodon. Never mind. Let's play the Overload. Get back. Sure strike. Play the entity. I mean, he's giving out the good game. I've still got to read the tides. Spy Megalodon, Frost Breath. I've got a handful of stuff, my friend. I don't know, like, I assume he means he's going to concede, but. He didn't concede. Maybe he's waiting to see what he drew. Ah, uh, okay. Megalodon. Ah, very interesting. I think we frost breath here. Tap these two down for two turns. Swing them with everything. Oh, it costs the extra. Sorry, of course. Good old pursued whale. Nice cub. Great start. One and oh. Okay, it's going to be a little bit slow, but we can keep this. Can thrill away one of the the islands. Oh, three color. Well, we would have liked to see one of our creatures. There's one of our creatures. Just as a blocker. Uh, land, Tome Anima. Hopefully land, double vision. And then the fun begins. Land, Tome Anima. Pass the turn. Hoping our opponent taps out here. His own time anima. Uh, he could be holding up. Uh, he 
is no? Okay. Very good. That should make things interesting. So I assume if I read the tides, no attacks. I can return Tome, Anima, and whatever he plays down this turn. Is this instant speed? No. Okay, Gadrak into Jeskai Elder. Capture Sphere on the Gadrak. Uh, gotcha. Okay, no blocks. Land off the top here would be nice. I don't really want to return the visionary though. That's instant speed. So we go next. Attack with this. Land. Get rid of the shore strike. Play down a land. Play down... Crack him. Cultivate doesn't do much. Unless he's got an Ugin. And it does a lot. Another capture sphere for our opponent. Sure. Play down a land. Play read the tides. Turn up to two creatures. This one and this one. Turn up to two creatures. Uh, I'm gonna decline. Uh, yeah, I don't want him having that visionary back in his hand. Um, so... Frost Breath goes. Shame I can't do... Ooh. Um. Decline. Discard Gedrick. Decline. 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 Lay down a land. Pray ghost light. Return. Joel Real. Um. Swing in for four. Okay. 
auto pay for the Kraken. Read the tides. Decline, decline, decline. Then we play down this, play down the pyroling. Swing for a three in the air. Being off for life is very bad. Uh, let's pay one. Tap down the time. Let's opt. Megalodon's good, but it's not exactly what we want. Turn to slag is good. Uh, Auto-pay to tap down the visionary. You can go at the bottom. Auto-pay to tap down the protege. Oh, where's my shotgun? Did I use it already? Wait, do I not have a shock? Crash through. Auto pay. Joreal. So he's all tapped. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven. What a close game. What a close game. Okay, game three. Up against Daniel Danielson. Uh, this is a pretty good starting hand. Definitely capable. Play the Vidalcon, then the Sabera, uh, and then crash through into the Stormwing. We do need to draw at least one land. May our opponent think we've got a shock, maybe? Drowsy Tyranodon. Do we see the combo? Do we see him put the... Oh, not yet, we don't. Okay. So I think, rather than play Sabira here, we want to get down the storm wing. It's got flying, we can do some damage with it. Uh, I think we put one of those at the bottom. Do we put both of them at the bottom? I think we 
got both of those at the bottom. No attacks. Done. Um, so, Sabira holding up the op. Oh, I could have turned to slag this turn because of um, the Arcanist. Let's hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Yeah, have you seen this going live? I'll uh, post it here for you if you want. Uh, that's the uh, Double Masters booster box opening. I don't get Drick here. Hobble faint. He's got another Hunter's Edge, I'm in trouble. It's not a huge problem. Another drowsy tea, and then nothing. Okay, well. So I get to turn to slag the Pteranodon and the Gorhorn next soon. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna take a bit of damage here. Probably not a huge problem. So we block that. Block that. Block that. Take seven. It's not a trample, does it? No. So he needs to play someone with attack 4 or greater to be able to attack him with the Drowsy T. That's unfortunate. No attack with the Drowsy T. Thank you. Okay. As weird as it seems, as much as I'd love to have this pursued well, I think I'd rather draw four cards. Uh oh. I don't think there's anything for one that I can get here. No! Ay, ay, ay. 
so close. I mean, the cards in my hand would have got there eventually. <laughs> Unfortunate. That's only our first loss for that deck though, I think. Is it? Yeah. Two wins, one loss. This is an unkeepable hand. All blue cards, all red mana. Definitely not a happening thing. This is keepable, definitely. We'll put the Spine Megalodon on the bottom. We've got Arcanist into Gadrak. Drowsy Pteranodon is not a card we wanted to see. Stoke is good. Let's swing out an opt. Severe is great. Seems like a good trade to me. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, is this draft? Yes, this is draft. Um, not easy playing Paris in draft at all. We've got some bomb cards in this um, thing. Haven't really seen much of them yet. Shh. Sure. Okay. No blocks. Hobble Fiend. Swing him with everything. <laughs> Double vision is good. Play down land and pass. Uh okay. My turn. Pyrolink. Pass. I mean I've got three um read the what is it called? Read the tides? Where you draw three cards. So one of those would give me six cards.
soon as I can start drawing, Tome Enema just starts getting through for free. Oh god, another land? How many lands would that have been off the top of my deck? Veteran is good. None of his stuff has trample yet though, so that's promising. There we go. Read the tides. Draw three cards. Copy it. Draw six cards. Nice wee thrill there as well for later. Play in the entity. goes to the bottom. Kraken can stay on top because it wins me the game. Uh, tone Anima. So he'll attack in now. He's got not much choice. Does he swing with everything though? If he does, block here, block here, block here. Block here. Block here. Block here. Oh, I can't plus one this. Oops. I thought um I thought my hobble fiend was gonna live. I didn't real I didn't even think of the fact I didn't have any lands. Okay, so ghost light. Turns them all Combat step. And for four. Let's just get down a creature. I don't know that I want to draw another <laughs> four cards. I mean, we can use this real next turn to get Tome anima, anima through for free. So he's got to find a way of killing off both Roaming Ghostlight and Tome Anima this turn. Technically Giant Growth gets him there, so I suppose I block that. Double Giant Growth would have uh, would have gone to 12. Uh, do I have enough to play Kraken first? Kraken... I could have just read the tithes to return them both to his hand. Discard that. Good game. I think I did that the hard way. Either way it works. Three and one now with this deck. Uh, I went 0 and 3 in a draft before Roller Light while you were away. I drafted Ugin. <laughs> Couldn't win a single game. Um... I think this is not a great keep, but it's keepable. We would like a blue land. What? Who plays this card? What is going on? Okay. That is a blue land. I think I just get down a blocker now. If he's playing Storm Shield me, he must be playing a quick deck. Okay, so Temple. Put the land to the back. 
shock. Alright. Uh, let's just shock this now. I don't want him having a counter spell because that card really screws me. Uh, Ugin Tribal Walls deck? No, 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 no. I got it in pack three and I was already in white black um, aggro. <laughs> so you can guess how the rest of it went. can't currently deal with this flyer. Well, I can. I guess I can turn to slag it. Let's see what our opponent plays next. Sure. Okay. Well, I think I just turn to slag this guy. No attacks. I actually want to be using my spells right now. Like I've got a lot of card draw, but it's good good that he blocked that. Um, I need one more land. Veteran's a good card. And dub onto it. Okay. Um... Well, in that case, let's just do this. What a slag. Uh, so force, huh? My opponent's running out of things to do. I think I lead this through. Attempt to slag this. Alright, new plan. Let's attack with everything. Frostbear's quite good here. Hopefully he plays down a creature before he attacks. Or doesn't attack because of the 3 to 6 damage. Plays down a creature here, Frostbear should win the game. Secure the scene. Sure. Uh, well, I just turned to slag it now, right?
Alright, we got a four and one. Okay, up against Double Dragon here. If we're going first, we're short of land. Uh, we've got some pretty expensive cards. We do have the Elder, which will help us in the Sabira as well. So I think this is keepable. Land on top is good. So we get an Elder down first. I don't either has a shock or a crash through in their hand. Uh, it's definitely a shock. Opponent has a shock in their hand. Sabira. Okay. Do quite what need to... Wow. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, opt is good for us. I'll do it on my main. Just try get into a land. Is this an overload for one? Biggest waste of an overload ever. Uh, I need to to get into the lands because look at my hand. Definitely happy to trade these off. He's obviously got something he can do, but even a 1 1, I'm happy to trade for a short strike. <laughs> Definitely. Sure. Um, yeah, the damage, sure. Uh, yikes. Short strikes are not what we're wanting. Gadrak is definitely what we're wanting. Land is good. Uh, do we slag a hobble fiend? He's got nothing to do. I don't think so. He's obviously not drawing the lands he needs. I have drawn mine. Okay. Everything's so expensive in my hand though. There we go, he gets his land that he needs. Still can't do anything. I think I'll play down the crack in here. Oh, sure. Reckon for me. Jeez, I'm getting some lag here. Have you guys seen that? My hand's too full, the game. In fact, both of our hands are too full. The game's just not dealing with it. Pursued Whale's not really ideal in these sorts of circumstances. This, this hand, though, is crazy. <laughs> Decline. Let's start by going to combat. Thrill a possibility a crash through. Try get a creature. Aha! Uh -huh. Goblin Wizardry. Chandra's Pyroling. 
<gasps> we have it. Oh my goodness. Pass the turn. We need one more land. And for him not to play a creature here. Or to attack with the uh, goblins. <laughs> no way. We were just talking about this as a potential combo. Come on. Attack with the goblins. Do it. Do it. Because the Kraken can tap things down. It's a slightly more problematic. Tap down the Hello Blade. Uh, go to combat. Attack with both. Don't block the Pyroling. Ah, oh, come on. He's got trample? No trample. Do I just let that resolve? Play a ghost light, return a goblin wizard. Like, I really want to do the combo of it. <laughs> Oh well, let's just kill that off. We'll attempt the shock shore strike combo next next turn. Oh, we don't have enough mana now to do the ghost light. That was silly. Pwn it down to thirteen. My, my game is just lagging so bad here. What is going on? Okay. Um, master. Do I pre-shock his face? To make him know he's gonna lose the Hound Master if he blocks. Is that the play? How much damage is this? Shock into the face puts him to 11. Sure Strike uh, does 10 more. Plus 1. Yikes. Tap the Hound Masters. Can I tap them both? No. Do I wait a turn? I don't think we're going to get the combo off here, man. I'm risking losing the game now.
I think I, yeah, I think time's up for us here. Gotta shock that. Has he got the two mana? Okay. Yikes. He's got some pretty good trades here too if he attacks in. Mistakes were made guys. I think I threw this game trying to get the combo off. Decline. I'm on the defensive for a bit here. So if I turn to say, I can only play one of these things. I may have had to have actually turned to slag the angel there. Maybe not. No attacks. I mean, I've got a handful of great stuff, so... No blocks. I think I... Turn to slag the angel, and then keep up the shore strike. Pursued whale is actually bad for me here. <laughs> Maybe I use... I need that double, the thing that doubles my spells, so I can read the tides and return four of his creatures back to his hand. I think I threw this game, guys. This is tough. Oh, those are not cards I wanted to see. I'm just so close to being dead here. If he can, if he can draw a feat of resistance, he wins. 
Oh no, no, because I've got a red and a blue creature. <clears throat> well, he pulled the trigger. Okay. So, this blocks this. This here. This here. This here. And this here. Plus three, plus zero, and first strike wins in the game. Crash through would win him the game? Oh no, no, that's sorcery speed. Okay. Start with a thriller possibility. Okay, two very good cards. S Storming Entity. Horrible Fiend. Swing him for five. So I've got lethal next turn. He attacks him with everything. A block. Oh, no, okay. Um, I think I just attack and the Stormwing's Entity. Play it safe. Because next turn I've got... Maybe I put the Pursued Whale down. I'm gonna do it. My game feels like it's about to crash. Is my game or my PC? PC seems to be running fine. Uh, pass. Take some with everything. Pass. Pursued whale blocks here. Harbor fiend blocks here. Megalodon blocks here. Empireling blocks here. I'm gonna block the one damage just in case. This will be in game if he doesn't do anything anyway, so.
Oh, this is a close game, guys. Whew. Shock in his hand. Uh, that's why uh, that's why you don't live through the one damage. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick restart because there was something really wrong with that. Uh, so you'll keep seeing me. Uh, let's just... Yeah, no, it's definitely something with the game. Okay, hopefully this fixes our issues. It does seem a little bit crisper. against Ilja. Uh, we've got Sabera. Uh, we can thrill away one of the shore strikes even if we uh, if we get into any trouble. So I think we keep this. Ooh. Elder. Elder and Sabera work really well together as well. Killers elder by throwing away the hobble fiend. Maybe the shore strike. So I can play down Sabira. Oh, yikes. Uh, it's a good thing we play a lot of cards in our deck. <laughs> you will not be happy to see that. So, Sabira. Both attack. And we're going to choose no. We don't want to be drawing cards. Ooh, Stormwing Entity hurts. That's a very good cheap creature I can get in. Sure. Okay. We are going to draw a card this time. We want to land. Uh, and we'll get rid of the Read the Tides. So we can play Protege. And the fiend. I just need as much stuff on the board as possible. Oh, there goes double vision. <laughs> Probably a decent thing in this matchup. Okay. Uh. Sure. I don't want to be using protege anyway. Hobble Fiend is also fine. Uh, sure. Land is good here. I'll drop the Arcanist. Get in the Kraken. Uh oh. Let's see if I cancel. Oh no! Pursued Whale is gone. Probably not a major in this. Okay. We can slag the crab. Sure. 
shock the charger and get him for five. Opponent's top decking, hopefully to land. Alright, technically holding lethal on them right now. <laughs> if they can't find a creature to put down. Did we get there? We got there. Ho <laughs> ho well done. So good. Teferi's tutelage, it feels so good beating Teferi's tutelage. Honestly, I... I just, I mean, I like playing the card, don't get me wrong, I, I don't mind being the person with the tutelage, however, it's just, oh, so frustrating, and he got it down on, like, as a three drop, right, he got it down very early, it's either turn three or four. Alright, final game, uh, if we win, not if we lose. This is definitely a keepable hand, we're up against Tom. Snare spin is kind of annoying. Visionary is also kind of annoying. Uh, get the whole thing done. We can probably thrill away a thrill. We've got read the ties to draw cards later on. So Jeskai Alda and then pass keeping up thrill next turn. Assuming we don't get something else. Roaming Ghost Light. We don't want to sack it to the Hubble Fiend. That's good. So just go out of pass. A shock for the ghost light. What a... He loses effectively three cards there. <laughs> Four cards. Because he would have got two off the rousing reed. The ghost light dies and the rousing reed, which is a plus one plus one and flying, goes as well. My turn. Okay, so let's thrill away a thrill, try getting into a red land, no red land. There's a red land, so I think we get rid of one of the read the tides here. Okay. Joel Real. Ouch. Does he also have another Lenawar Visionary to bring in? That seems good too. is good. 
Now I can read the tides returning Joel Riel and the cat. Swing him with the elder and the pyroling. Then he just plays down Joel Riel next turn. I think I need to draw three cards. Attacks. Gonna take some damage here. I can pursue whale next turn though. Pursued whale seems good. I can tome anima. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to kill this Joel Real. Okay. Yeah, I think I. I think I definitely pursued whale now. Joel Real will get through. Uh, but I kill the Warden of the Woods here. Kill the Lana War Visionary with the Hobble Fiend. Uh, block here, block there. So it's just Joel Real and the Pirate that get through, but I get to kill the Warden of the Woods. Hopefully he doesn't have any trick combat tricks. I suppose he could make everything three threes. Yeah, making it all three threes mostly wipes my board. Gets through six damage onto me. And he only loses the warden. Lying. My sure strike's up now, so depending on what he does, I can block Pursue Well into the Warden, sure striker, Tome Anonyma into the Cat, and then try and just paralleling into the Snare Spinner. Sure. Pass, anima into the cat, whale into this, piling into that, take three. You gotta be kidding me. Um, need to start dealing some damage back. Oh, you can tap down my whale now. Things are not looking good. Should have let a spider through. Double blocked the cat. Uh, my elder would have died though. Cause my other's only got two health. How far are we off having lethal on him? Yikes. 
Okay. So Roman Ghostlight returns Kraken, blocks Joel Real, pursued Whale into Anima, paralleling into that. No, is that game? Uh, look here, look here. I don't think I can force him to attack anymore, so we may as well block that damage there. Turn to slag. Turn to slag off the top. Is what we needed. It's just so many lands. Why were there so many lands at the end of that? Oh wow, this is this has been an exciting draft, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll get to the seven and two. Fingers crossed. It'll probably end up on YouTube if we do. Uh, this is not a keepable hand, unfortunately. <laughs> like, we got lands, but th we're not playing this game for a long time. Well, this isn't much better. I can't pursue whale or experimental overload. For a long time. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna keep this one though. Should have just kept the first one after seeing this. Uh, glad he's got a fable passage. That's one rare. Oh, come on. Stop drawing me lands, dick. No, we don't want Krakens either. Creatures, please. Creatures. Gadrak. Guys, I don't think it wants me to get to seven wins. These last two games. Shock now. What, what do I do? I meld away a greedy keep and then do, do I meld that second? I obviously should have meld the second. Devotee. Okay, opt into something. Frostbreath. Maybe Frostbreath is it. Maybe I just by my time a bit here. Get some stuff into my graveyard for experimental overload to work. You are kidding me. Okay, I think I swing in. Sure, strike this.
experimental overload. Getting back the opt. When do I stop putting down lands? He's clearly got something he can do, right? No? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, Skeleton Archer? Okay. Let's opt. Not a land. Let's crash through. Okay. Uh, swing for three. Spine Megalodon's got um, hexproof, which is great. So I actually want my opponent to tap out here. Come on, tap out. Just to be not so risky. Okay, that was good. Uh, another creature power to all this. Okay. Play down the spy Megalodon next turn. I actually weirdly want to draw a land. I can... oh no. Not anymore. Oh yeah. So if I... Oh, I can't get through. I needed one more. One more land. That's alright, I'll be able to do it from now on though. Okay, take five. Get to swing back for eight next turn. That's slightly annoying. Gadrak's good. Gadrak comes in. This creature can't be blocked. Discard my hand. Swing him with this. Draw a protege. Alright, I think I need to start swinging with everything. And then if stuff trades, then Gadrak gets artifacts. Finishing blow on the Gadrak is lethal. Ah, oh dear guys, couldn't quite get there. Six wins. Yeah, I had fun in that match. Um, that was a really rough start for us, so to come back into that game, still pretty good.